Good evening. Good night. How are you? Really? What's going on, peoples? What's going on, Facebook? Let's just hope everything. Let's let's just can we just pray that everything just goes well, no technical difficulties. In Jesus' name, Lord, help us to just do this show and be uh, and have no issues, no issues, no problems. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. <laughs> You're making me laugh, and I'm supposed to be laughing and praying. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Anyways, welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to Relationship Goals, Relationship Goals with Joe and Lisa. We here, folks, every Wednesday, 10 p.m. Yeah. Sharp. 10 p.m. right here live on Facebook, and we are excited um, because this is going to be a good one, another good one, another <laughs> great show. Um, it's a juicy topic. <laughs> it's a pretty, uh, some juicy topics, uh, juicy topics. Uh, That's cat skills. You know, with, uh, we got, we, you know, the top, top 10, I was the top <laughs> 10, fantastic. the top 10, 10. 10. 10 tough topics tough. or conversations. It's really more conversation yeah. than anything. 10 topics you want pretty much every good relationship, relationship should, discuss. should discuss to become great. To be All right. Great. So if you're on right now, go ahead and share the video. All right. That's one. Yes. Like it. Yes. That's two. And three, let me know. Let us know where you, where you are, where you're watching from. Um, I thought you were going to say something different. I'm like, what mm -hmm. is he going to say? <laughs> <laughs> you have me like it's on a cliffhanger the way you were saying it. Oh, you thought I was going to say something different. Like, I don't know oh, what you was going to say. I don't know. <clears throat> I thought you were going to say get something close, different. You get had close, me. Get close. Yes. So go ahead. We're going to, we're going to get started in just a couple of minutes. You know how this works. You know, we come yeah. on and, you know, we, we kind of mingle a little we bit. Gab. <laughs> um, then we get started, you know, yes. we let Facebook build that audience, whatever, you know, however it does that. Uh, so we want to, uh, we want to get started very soon. Yes. Cause a lot of times yes. people kind of jump on, then jump you on. know, like, they jump on. No, they that's not on. what I'm talking about. Like, like, uh, they jump on <laughs> like 10 minutes into the show, you know, and then I, we have to kind of go back and say, okay, this is what we're doing. This is what we're talking about. Such and yeah, such but you know why we have to do that? Because <clears throat> oh, our lovely that. Facebook friends are inviting so many people Mm. That they have to, you know, we have to recap them so they know what's going on. Oh. That's why we have to always recap. Yeah. I'm not sure that's what it is, but okay. <laughs> I was trying to help us out, bro. <laughs> All right. So, um, I think we should get started with our intro. All right. You going to do a countdown like in school? Countdown. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Baby, we're going to do it fast. Real people. Real love. Real perspective. Real experiences. Relationship goals with Joe and Lisa every Wednesday at 10 p.m. Yes, it is relationship welcome, goals with Joe welcome, and Lisa welcome. presented to you by the Realist TV every Wednesday, 10 p.m. right here yes. on Facebook Live. Damn. Once again, we want to welcome you to our show. Really All right, well, we talk issues. about real issues, real topics, real deal stuff, real life stuff that affects our relationships. And the hope is that all of us will grow and really accomplish our relationship goals uh, by really talking about the real, real, the real, real, real deal. When you real say real, stuff. it sounds weird now. I feel like yeah. we use real so much now. Oh, yeah. It feels weird when I say it. It's like, real. Real, 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 
real. Real. Anyways, uh, we're talking about the 10, okay, top 10. How you say 10 this, is real? This. Wait, one more time. This. This. Yeah. This. How you didn't know 10 in Creole? You didn't know? I didn't go to Haiti in school and I didn't uh, take Creole classes in high school uh, either. You didn't know? Anyways, my name is Joe Derillis <laughs> and this is Elizabeth Derillis or Lisa. Lisa. All right. And we have been married for six years. Too long. I'm just All right. We have been together <laughs> for nine years and we things. have two beautiful boys, two beautiful sons uh, that are just handful. handful, but I love them. We Father love them. like son. Uh, and we, again, we do this every Wednesday right here on Fa- on Facebook Live. They um, move eventually, like we'll maybe IG and all these other platforms that we you know we can't even keep up with. But anyways, <laughs> uh, what, what are you guys, what are you guys, how are you guys doing tonight? What's going on? What's happening? You want some water? Mm-hmm. Don't do that because your saliva is going to dry it out more. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Mm. H2O. Here we go. <laughs> all right, here we go, folks. Here we go. So, we're talking about the top 10 tough topics that every relationship, every good relationship, should discuss in order to become great. Yep. All right? So, we know in relationships, Mm -hmm. for relationships to work, communication is huge. Communication is huge. Right? So, we have to talk about things. We have to talk about things that are easy to talk about. We have to talk about things that are... Not so easy, easy to talk, to talk about. about. Some of those tough issues, tough tough topics, and a lot of it has to do with um, different expectations, correct? Different um, rules, different um, different. Um, well, I'm talking about like things that you kind of communicate to your partner as. Okay, these are my expectations. These are my rules. Okay, rules these are bad. these are my <laughs> boundaries. Okay, that's better. You know, just. <laughs> Expectations, right? Expectations. So we have for you tonight 10. 10. 10. Your hands are so big, bro. 10. 10 things. I can't. It's, it's too like many T's. It's like a tongue twister. It is a tongue, a tongue twister. Top 10 things to discuss. Right? Yeah, top 10 things to discuss. Okay, for every good relationship <laughs> to discuss <laughs> uh, to become uh, great. All right, so let's let's go right at it, baby. Let's go right at it. Uh, number one, one, number one. Can you still have opposite sex friends? So meaning, what? Joe is a male. So can Joe still have female friends? Oh, okay. I'm like, <laughs> he's like opposite sex friends or opposite no, sex not, friends. Not sex friends. That's what that's what I'm opposite. saying. Like the question, I was like, I, it kind of, <laughs> you know, I kind Mine of put, in the you know, cutter. No, uh, so to, for me clarification... Are you talking about opposite sex friends or opposite sex friends? The second one. So... Okay, so uh, the friends, <laughs> friends of the opposite, opposite sex. sex. Okay, you so you know the question English is, no can good. you still have friends of the opposite sex? Yes. What do you guys think? What do you think? I asked you the question. Oh, you asked me the question. <laughs> oh, okay. You got to slide um, out of this question. <laughs> <laughs> can, you saw that he trying to be slick, yo. Can, okay, are you saying can oh, like men overall or so husbands can, can overall, a, a husband, boyfriends overall, so can, fiancés overall, yes, can, can have, have friends, a female friends, so a can female a male friend, have absolutely a female friend, absolutely, absolutely. I think I think you can have friends of the opposite sex as long as they're real friends. I agree with that. You know, that's I think that's that's important. I absolutely, agree it's with important that. to have friends. You know, so Balance. yeah. So I'm, I mean, I just, just yeah. So my answer is yes, absolutely. I agree with you that. Know? What do you think? Can you can you still have op, you know friends of the opposite sex when you're in when you're in a relationship? I think you can, but it goes back to like you were saying. You have to have real friends. You know, you can't have friends that have ulterior motives of okay. being your friend. Because mm-hmm. you used to tell me this all the time in the beginning of his dating, you know, he's not really your friend. Right. You know? He's just, he's he's on, he's, he's on, he's, he's waiting he's for on the hold. opportunity. He's on hold. He's waiting for an opportunity you to know? say, hey, so how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so huh? But mm. I think if they really are a true friend and again, if they really are a true friend, one, time will tell 
when you're in that relationship with someone mm-hmm. and that person's still there being your friend. Okay. Okay. And they welcome your partner as their friend too. Okay. You know, that, that makes a difference now. So that, so that means if you have, if I have opposite, opposite, if I have friends <laughs> of the opposite sex, not only, you know, obviously they need to know, you know, what's, what's appropriate or not, but, but also if they, really are your true they need friend, to, they need they to be your friend also. Um, or not, not need to be, but they, they can, be, but they can be your friend also. They can be, they don't need to be, but again, if they really are a true friend, eventually because we're hanging in the same circle, we right. will become friends. Okay. But. Okay. This, this actually leads to another, another topic. So yes. we'll, we'll, we'll save it. We'll save it for later. <laughs> All right. So. Well, well we didn't ask uh, for friends. Oh yeah. So what, what Shanice says, if they're mature, sure. Why not? Exactly. I, uh, let's, let's put that up. Oh, hello. Hello. Let's put that up so the people can see. Yeah, so, so yes. Shani says, yeah, uh, I Your guess, yes, me, by the way. <laughs> um, if they're mature, sure, right. why not? Yeah, yeah I, I, I believe so. I think if if the, the person in the relationship themselves, you know, if they're mature and the friend is mature, is mature then absolutely, uh, it's yeah. no problem with that. I agree. Absolutely. All right. So next topic, next topic, Numero the next tough dose. topic that every good relationship should discuss to become great is... Should you tone down your sexy? Oh, is that it? You yeah. Skip the second one, but that's, oh, that's, that's fine. number three. But should fine. you tone down your sexy? This you know? one mm. for me is mm. a, a <laughs> special <laughs> question. Mm-hmm. Talk about it. Partly because mm-hmm. what I thought was sexy mm-hmm. and what you thought are sexy are different. Uh huh. That's true. Um, that's true. And not only that, uh, people's body shapes or right. their figure plays a role in this sexy. So for me, it's kind of a, me personally, it's kind of like a fine line, meaning my husband says it all the time. You can mm-hmm. still wear a trash bag and they're still going to see your curves. Right. So let I, I, let, so, me, let, let me break it down for y'all. Let me break it down. See. Please don't embarrass um, me. <laughs> sexy, I mean. Every you know everyone's uh, de- definition of different. sexy is different, right? So usually, usually if a woman is shapely, is curvy, yes, um, thick, whatever you want to call it, thick, delicious. Um, <laughs> I haven't she heard is, that in so long. Hmm? That was you I mean, just dated no. yourself. What you just dated yourself? Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if a woman <laughs> is is have that type of body, then okay, that's considered sexy, right? Now, but it's not that woman's now fault the thing is, the the, now the thing is, you, the question is, should you tone down your sexy? Yes. I don't necessarily think you need to tone it down. Well, you just need, need to, to be aware. I'm Maybe, sorry, can I but, finish? I'm sorry. I'm just getting excited about this particular one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Can you, you know, like she's over here cutting me off and, you know, like. I'm sorry. I <clears throat> Gee, you know. Let me drink water so <clears throat> I'll be quiet. Okay. So like I was saying. <laughs> She don't necessarily turn down her sex, but she needs to, uh, not just she, on both sides, on both sides. Because you have, you have men who are, you know, very muscular and whatever. And, and by the way, some women don't even, don't, don't think, you know, a muscular man is sexy, but that's, that's another topic. But you have to be mindful. You have to be mindful that, uh, you, your sexiness could be attracting, uh, or getting the, the wrong attention. Mm-hmm. That you're not necessarily looking for, mm-hmm. you know, and that could put you in positions that you don't, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to have to deal with, especially if like, if, if it's, if it, if it's, uh, comes to a situation where, okay, you wearing something very, you know, very sexy and then I'm there with you, but the people around you don't know that we're together. And then all of a sudden, they, you know, they're approaching you or they're disrespecting you even. That could that could cause some that some cause issues. Issue. All right. So let me see. Well, Sarah mm. Sarah says, um, I don't think you tone down your sexy, but you must be respectful to your yes. spouse. Yes, and not looking inviting to someone outside of your spouse. Absolutely, I, and, I agree with that. And this is what I was gonna say when I was trying to cut you off, and then I had to drink water to slow down. Mm-hmm. Was we actually have to really sit there and define what sexy is for that couple? Because right. You know, I mean, we can define we can define well, what it is for them, but but that's what I'm saying. As the couple, you define mm-hmm. what that is because some people may find sexy as you wearing the mini dresses with the low cut V's, right, right. and in that instance, I think that would be okay to tone it down mm-hmm. when you are going out as a 
part, well, just going out in general, I was going to say as a mm-hmm. partner, but just in general. But if we're referring to sexy as being someone's figure, right. then you can't really tone that down. That's just how you are. You can't but tone it down, you, but there are there are things you can do to adjust and kind of make make uh, make adjustments to you know to, again to be respectful, correct to your relationship, your spouse, and really be respectful to yourself. All right, correct. all right. So let's let's go on to the next thing. The next thing is how much time should you spend with single friends? With your single, okay. How much time should you spend? So then, another top, you know, tough, tough topic, topic to discuss with your with your uh, your partner in discussing your relationship is how much time you should spend with your single friends. friends. Hmm. What y'all think? What do you guys think? How much time should should somebody in a relationship spend with their single, single friends? friends? How much time? I mean. I think that's a, another I mean, tricky one because right. it depends on the relationship. You can't say, okay, you got two hours and that's it. it. Yeah. And I think it depends on your single friend. Okay. Meaning, just an example, if you're, I'm going to use you as the guinea, mm-hmm. you are married, but all your single friends are still in the whole like strip club scene and, mm. you know, they're going to the club every night and their mm-hmm. whole purpose when they go out is to bag chicks. Oh, bag chicks. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, so you talking about me <laughs> saying thick delicious? <laughs> I don't well, bag what, chicks. What I haven't heard that in a while. What, what they say nowadays? I don't even know. I don't know either. But you anyways, know? but in that instance, you know, for me, one, I would prefer you tone it down a little bit, not completely cut them out. But if they're going out with the intent of going to the strip club mm-hmm. or to go pick up girls, I would prefer you not go on that particular outing. Okay. You know, that's just me. So, okay. So, so because... But it depends on your friend, you know? Depends, it depends on your single friend. So... And sometimes, It depends too. on the mindset of, of the single friends, you know, where, you know, where they are in their lives, where, what, what is their goal, you know? Yeah. If, you know, if, if, if the single friends are actually looking, looking for, right. and that's, for a spouse and that's looking the other for, looking to get married, you know, side they're too. looking to intentionally date, not just, you know, hey, man, we're just going to pick up these girls or whatever. Right. That's and that's what I was going to say, but if your friends are, are with the intent of they're trying to settle down, then it'll be great to hang around them because then they can kind of know what the real right, deal is right, about, you know, of being married. Because being, 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 uh, yeah. being a boyfriend, girlfriend is different than being a fiance and being a fiance is totally different than being husband and wife. Absolutely. So it's okay for those stages to hang out with one another so that they can see pretty much what works for them and what won't work for them. All right. Well, that's that. That's that. You know, how much time you should spend with your with your single friends? Again, it, it, it all depends. It all depends. All right. Um, but again, this you know, we're not necessarily here to give like give what Concrete this is the answers. answer. But these are just topics that you should be discussing with your uh, significant other. All yeah. right. So the next topic is: Are conversations with exes still okay? Ooh. <laughs> Why you looking at me like that, man? Our conversations, our conversation with your ex is still okay. What do you say? That's another one that it's kind of situational. Meaning, if your ex is a, a parent to your child, then you can't cut oh, out no, conversations. Well, that's okay, still the next. Okay, okay, I get it. On okay. a technicality, it's still the next. That's a good but point. if they're not, if that's not the circumstance, when you guys in my opinion, are no longer together, there's no need to continue conversations and hash whatever out because you're mm-hmm. no longer together. So it's a big no in my book if they are not a parent to your child. Okay, so we, uh, Allison said, nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm kind of on the fence on this one. I, I think... I think you can talk to your exes. But for what? But obviously, there, there has to be... Obviously, there have to be some sort of boundaries, and also it it all depends on on okay what what sort of relationship that that was there before before they before they uh, they broke up right. So if it, mm. if it was like a business partner ah, or somebody in the same somebody you went to high school with somebody you're somebody you're in the same let's say you work in the same place or somebody are, you see on the regular. But that's environmental. Mm-hmm. That's not, hey, let me pick up my phone and be like, hey, what you doing this week? Right. This conversation. That's I mean, not the same thing. I, I think I think it also depends on what the how the breakup was, too. 
don't you know, think if so. It was, we broke up because we was broke an, up. It was an so amicable. I'm gonna go this way. You, you know, go an amicable um, um, mutual breakup. There was no really no no hard feelings or anything like Which that. Which I understand that, but I don't know. Me and you, once we're broken up, <clears throat> me and you don't need to have conversations about anything. That's just the fact of the what, matter. What if we knew we we know some some uh, some common people? And that's we fine. have some mutual friends. We can still be friends with whoever mm-hmm. our friends are, but me I mean, we're not going to be on the phone like no longer need to have say, conversation. But if say, we're out in public and we're we not going to be, cause we're not going to be, we're not going to be, you know, at, late at night, you know, ten p.m., eleven p.m. Be like, hey, hey, X, what's happening? But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but when you allow for mm-hmm. conversations to still occur on the regular, you allow for that opportunity to happen. Well, I mean, if it's look, if it, if if it's a real ex, then there's what's what's gonna happen? It's it's an ex. It don't matter. Oh, so okay. would you be okay if I was having a conversation with my ex? It all depends on what the conversation is about. But is it, it depends on the, when, the when question? The come, see? Uh-huh. But look at the you see what's, how you think? I mean, what do you mean? No, uh, but that's what I, that's no. that's my point. My point is it no. depends. It You're saying be. no. no. <laughs> I'm saying it depends. No, it doesn't right. matter. We broke up. We broke so up. So that that looks like a tough topic that we need to have more. Of a no, because it's still gonna be no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. There ain't no. Oh, I, I'm gonna have this. Okay. Now, disclaimer: If we're out and mm. about and you happen to cross paths, uh-huh. that's different because that wasn't like, oh, meet me at our spot and we are gonna have a conversation. But mm. it's oh, we just happen to be at Walmart grocery shopping. Oh. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. No. This is my see, wife. The way you're saying, you're saying like they should be like, you see. Uh, no. You, you run the opposite I'm re- way. I'm you see the eggs, you'd be like this. Uh, can't talk to you. <laughs> no, I'm referring literally <laughs> about having like phone conversations, having email conversations, social mm. media com- Like there's no need for it. Why but if it- the conversation is strictly business? You know? Or business is different, but having a conversation with what, your what, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Is it okay, okay, no. to to well, have conversations <laughs> all right with, with the exes? You know, I know Allison said no. Who do you know? You. Who else? What do you guys I'm think? I'm with you, Allison. Nope. Don't don't no? let don't let this foolishness <laughs> get you, you in trouble with you your spouse. Think? What do you guys think? <laughs> we want to we want to hear from you. We want to hear hear from you guys. Don't let okay, him get y'all in trouble. My, my edge, my edge is fine, brother. Okay, <laughs> okay, it's it's all good. You see this? There's no apart from here. You don't see nothing happening in the middle here, so it's okay. All, all right, babe. Anyways, anyway, all right. So let, let's move on to the topic because you got okay. Uh, Mr. Idler says yes. He says yes. Um, yes, you can. Yes, you can have a conversation with your ex. Yeah, you know, in it's passing just conversation. by. In passing by. In co- just conversation. In passing all right, by. We have <laughs> esoteric. Is that how you say that word? Esoteric spirit says yes, you can. You know, yes, you no. can. No, you, know, you can't. Obama, two thousand eight. <laughs> there I we go, Allison. With, yes, Allison, you, you, y'all got issues, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's move on to the next thing. Uh, the next top, uh, Number not the next five. Time, the next tough topic that you should discuss with your significant other in order to have a great relationship, going from good to great, is <laughs> should your spouse have access to? All your social media and password to your phone. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, I, I agree. I would agree with that. I'll say yes. Well, I, Should your spouse? What do you guys think? Should your spouse have access to all of your social media? All of them. All of them. Facebook. Disclaimer, you guys. Twitter, so. Instagram, Snapchat. <laughs> Uh, what else they have? Out I don't there? know. All the just say social media. All, it all. all the all the social social. Somebody say yes. <laughs> Disclaimer: He won the jackpot because his wife has a terrible memory. Really? Um, I mean, you. <laughs> but you, I really don't care. Well, yeah, that, that's. I I think. Like we have. It, I think but you it should. Invited. I think you should. Actually, no. I think you should. I don't think you should, but if you offer it, great. Right. I think. I mean, I don't it's know. It's just a level of but trust. I think. I think. I think how you get access is important. Right? What do you mean? If, if you if you got access because something something happened, either you were suspicious or or the person just ha- you know, they were just, you know, me- not messing around, but they were um having scouting inappro- imp- inappropriate conversations. Inappropriate conversations with or they, you know, or they were <laughs> you were you were that X stuff. <laughs> um, uh. 
But if that, the thing is, if, if, that, if there is no issue, if there's no issues there, yeah, it doesn't it's okay for you to have it. But I don't think you should automatically oh have have you know all the passwords. You yeah. know, um, I don't even know. What, I th- I can guess what your password yeah, is. Yeah, because it's the same. Um, but. Um, but you know, you, you know but what my passwords are. Really, but that's the thing, because mm-hmm. we have access to each other's phone, and we both put each other's. I think my print is in your phone. I don't know if you added yours to mine, but we know each other's passcode, and mm-hmm. it, it's not a secret. It's not like I'd be like, "Babe, let me just use your phone." You're like, right. "Oh, here." Now, if I'm like, "Babe, can I see your phone?" You're like, "Hold on, let me go." Then I'd be like, "Hold up, <laughs> we got to do some investigating." Hold on, let, let, me, let me reset the phone real quick. <laughs> you know, we got to do some investigating. <laughs> Oh, let me but, let me reset. Uh, factory reset. Before you- <laughs> <laughs> but the crazy part is that happens in some people's relationships. Right, right. People, people can have you know what, what you need. What you need my phone Before. for? Uh, what you what you want? Now, what you, you ask you, me. You want to call somebody? What's the number? <laughs> Which you do do that to me sometimes, but you do huh? to me messing with me. Right, right. Because sometimes you, 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 you be one of my phone and just just you know, and when, instead of using yours, you just want to do like crazy stuff. I but um, crazy stuff. What well, okay. So let's see what what is it. Somebody says, uh, but that is how domestic violence cases are are invented. Okay, I don't I don't really get that. Explain explain yeah, explain, explain to me what do you mean? Um, esoteric spirit. Uh, w- uh, Freddie says yes, yes. <laughs> yes. You should have all passwords and access to to uh, accounts and um, and phones. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, and you should trust your partner, anyways. Yeah, yes, right? that's should. what I'm saying. Uh, Mr. Idler says cautions. <laughs> Hippo laws. <mouth. laughs> that's what made me laugh. Well, if What's you if you if you're, you're married if you married, I don't think I don't think that 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 counts. But that's a good point. point. That's a good point. If you're not married, say hey, look here, look here. Okay, I have I have rights. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I have rights. And you, you know what the spouse is gonna say? You have the right to exit. <laughs> oh, hey, that's that's a right too. <laughs> that's another right, right? Uh, so yeah, so should you? I think you know. I again, I think how I don't think it's mandatory, but it it's a nice gesture in showing trust. Right, right. Yeah, it's, I think yeah, definitely not just of showing showing trust. But I'm saying you don't want to get to the point where. You know what you have to, we, you know, that's like a deal breaker in a relationship. relationship you know yeah, that you don't want, you don't want to get there. You don't want to get there. Yeah. All right. So next point, next Number point, the six. next top Number tough number topic six. that you should have conversations with in your relationships in order to become great from good to great is what time is disrespectful to come back in the house? What time so is it disrespectful? Meaning, no time. Just meaning. Out. You having a girls' night or a boys' night? What is the time cutoff where it's like, bruh, like you tripping right now? Oh, okay. What okay. is the time cutoff for the before Man. you get to the so, all your stuff in the so courtyard? If, if I'm having a night, you know, boys' night out, you know, we're finna go yep. out and chill or whatever. Um, I I I gotta. You see, saying I gotta have a curfew. Yeah, in essence, what's mm. what's the curfew? Uh, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. What do you What do you think? Um, I think this one kind of is situational, meaning okay. depends. Seems like all everything is situational. Well, in life, everything's situational. Everything's conditional. <laughs> mm-hmm. But pretty much, I think one, it depends on who are the friends you're going out with. Okay. Okay. Um, that kind of goes back to that previous topic topic about single friends. friends. Okay. Where you're going. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's really it for me. So and and kind of have like a pre kind of discussion beforehand. Okay. Because I know there's been time like you've gone out with the guys or right. whatever. Right. And you're like, oh, it's only going to be for a little bit. But you text me say, hey, we're going to stay out later. Mm-hmm. That's cool because you inform me that right. you're now staying later. Right. And that's not a problem. Now, if I don't inform you that I'm staying oh, out later. Oh, baby, it's going to be and, a problem. And I do come later. It's a problem. Yeah, it's all right. It's a problem. <laughs> that's why you know not mm-hmm. to do that. Okay, so... <laughs> So, okay, so now if you're having a girl's night out mm-hmm. and and it's three in the morning. That won't happen. You know, and you're not, cause, you know, you, you're, you're an early bird. But if if that happens and there's no text. Then it's and, still a problem. No, but what, if any, okay, what if, okay, let's go back to my situation, right? My, or my scenario. Your guys if I do, out. if I did went out, even though I text you to say it's going to be later. But I didn't necessarily say it's going to be an hour later. That's fine because so, you inform me it's just going to be later. So if I walk in 6 a.m., 7 a.m., you're going to be like, 
Hi, baby. Good morning. No. You want breakfast? So then I take it back. Because if you're mm-hmm. coming home at 6, that's a whole nother level of problems. <laughs> okay. So I rewind. <laughs> but like, I've been like, okay, you guys are out. Okay. And it's like 1. You're like, oh, babe, I'm going to be later. Okay. I'm expecting you to be at least before sunset. Right. Okay. So in essence, <laughs> there is sunset. there is a reasonable time to yeah. come home. Um, I mean, you don't you don't want to be or out. Or unless the disclaimer you're coming home at night. six is you just you got just so. Keep cutting me off. I'm sorry. You just keep cutting me off. I don't know <laughs> if I if I should get sad or mad. What, I don't know. I don't well, know. Because that means I'm talking mm. more. Okay, that's good. That's good though. Because yeah, you, you're only oh. talking on here. Go the ahead. disclaimer was unless you got so drunk that you could not drive and you had to stay at your friend's house. Okay. That would be the only way that I'd be like, okay, I'd still be mad because you know how I feel about drinking. Okay. But. <laughs> At least I know you were doing something responsible and safe. All right. So pretty much what we're saying about this topic is, um, you know, is there a um, cutoff time? Is there a cutoff time to be to be home? Uh, definitely, yes. Obviously, that's situational. It depends on What's where you're happening? going, who you're with, what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, if you go into a late, you know, it's one of those like late football games or something like that. You know, it's going to be, you know, uh, one, two a.m. You're still going to be out. Mm-hmm. You know, but obviously in that case, communication is is, is, is key. And just be mindful that, okay, put yourself in, in the place of that other person and mm-hmm. say, okay, would I would I be okay with them walking in the house at 3, 4 in the morning, right? Yep. So all that, all that comes into it. All right, so the next tough topic that you should discuss with your relationship to go from good to yep. great is how much time... Is too much time. That's kind of like the. the it other kind of replaces yeah, back how, onto that. Yeah. How much time is too much time with your your boys and your girls or your single friends? Mm-hmm. You know, how much time is too much time? Um, honestly, I really don't. I think it kind of goes back to before you were married. Meaning, mm-hmm. if it was custom for your little boys group or your girls group that y'all go every every three months, y'all go on a girls trip for two days. Okay. That's understandable because that was something. You going on a girls trip? No, you can't go okay, with us because okay. you've been just, you've been trying to get onto our little trippy trip, and okay. you're not. I, I was I was I was on something <laughs> else, but oh, <laughs> go ahead. Mm-hmm. Um, that you made me lose my train top. Yeah, uh, that you okay? What I said. I think you were saying if you know if every three. Well, months, if, yeah, yeah, if that was like your norm before your routine, you guys got okay. married, then that's understandable. That okay, oh, the guys are going to go on a guy's trip to Vegas or a guy's okay. trip to Miami or whatever. If that was the pre-existing norm. Mm-hmm. But there's also a fine line of, all right, well, I'm going to take advantage now because she, this was already existing. Okay. And we're talking about the, really the length, length of time. The length of time. Yeah. Okay. So should. And traditionally when they say like girls trips and boys trips, they're usually referring to like a weekend kind of thing. Mm. So like three to four kind of day window. Okay. In my opinion, that's what I think of a girl's so, boy strip. The the thing I would say is I think the amount of time you spend with your boys or girls, it should never be more than the amount of time you spend with your with your partner. Wow. And that's something you can kind of gauge uh on a daily basis. If you do hang with you know with both your boys and your whatever on, on a daily basis or on a weekly basis, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, like I can take an example, for example, like I think it was last week. You know, uh, me and some of the boys, we, you know, we hung out pretty, uh, pretty late. Um, and the next night, um, the boys wanted to, you know, they wanted to go out again. Mm-hmm. And I told them, I said, hey, uh, I can't go because, you know, the other night I spent, you know, I spent, I spent, you know. That was the day you brought me the food? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the <laughs> I day I, I stayed out late is the day I brought you food. Yeah, yeah I said, bring but me But the food. next <laughs> night, the next night, uh, that's one of the things I'm going to uh, the next <laughs> night you told me to bring, um, the next night I told him, I said, Hey, I said, you know, I, I got to you know, spend some time with wifey because, um, the other night, you know, I was out late, I was out late and I, you know, it was finals week and, you know, so I had to just gauge that. I'd be mindful. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I need to spend, you know, spend time with her and it's not, and she needs to know that also. She needs to know that I'm making, I'm making these, uh, these decisions and making these, these efforts to spend time with her mm-hmm. and making her a priority. All right. So let's move on to the next topic. All right. Number eight. Number eight. Can, Can you still go out of town without your spouse? Ooh, mm, mm. 
Uh, what is it? What am What am I supposed to do with her not in the house? Uh, oh, you talking about like somebody oh. not going out? You should be. <laughs> well, you, people need to go. You were dead. You were dead, mm-hmm. babe. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you can't. You can't be. You can't be holding people hostage, man. That's not. That's not cool. That's not cool. All right. So yeah. So the topic we're talking about now is: Can you still? Can you go out of town without, without your, spouse? your spouse? So a girls trip, a guys trip. Is that still okay? Of course. Married. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. I think you could go out of town without your spouse if it's business yep. and pleasure. Mm-hmm. And pleasure, you know. Um, I would say maybe not necessarily by yourself if it's for pleasure. Uh, but I don't know. I think, I think, I think it's, it's okay. I think it's okay. Again, that means, you know, like we communicate a lot throughout the day. So mm-hmm. I wouldn't have an issue like the... Um, couple years back when you had to go on all those different um out of town right, trips. trips yeah but we stayed in constant communication so even though you were physically out of town you weren't out of town for me because mm-hmm. we were always in constant communication right right now had that been different you out of town and we're not communicating i probably would have yeah. felt differently right like you know you'd be wondering what's like, he what doing? you doing like you answer my text you come on my call uh, 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 really uh, uh. that's really? how i'm telling you uh uh-uh. Uh uh-uh. uh. Don't like nobody said, do that. Uh 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 uh. <laughs> what the uh-uh. heck is that? Karate chop. Uh-uh. I don't know. That's 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 how y'all talk. But anyways, yeah. Y'all. So I think it's I think it's okay. Mm-hmm. I think it's okay if it's business, if it's pleasure. Yeah. Just um, communicate while just, it's... yeah. Just communicate while you're there, while you're away, and you know, to where you can make it seem like as if you're not away. Yeah. And also, uh, but what if what if there is some is there some kind of some history there? You know, some some well, bad history. What do you? Oh, meaning like you've done something while you were out. While, while you were away. Well, I think in that scenario, it'll be communication would be even more important because right. it'll be important for your spouse to know, okay, this is my hotel that I have to stay at. Um, mm-hmm. This is my itinerary for whatever event I had to go to for out of town. Okay. So that way, if you call me and I don't answer, you can always mm-hmm. refer to that itinerary and go, okay, well, I'm in a workshop mm-hmm. or I'm in like a meeting. And that way, that you... Sounds, that sounds like a lot. But that's what happens when Look, trust man, is just, lost. Hey, just avoid that and just... That's yeah, just the situation. You know, avoid the whole situation by just, hey, you know, by just, you know, do your just thing. Just say no, like just. Yeah, just say no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, let's move on to the next point. Next point. Number next point. Number nine. Number nine is... You don't like this question. How much sex should be expected? Yes, that is that needs to be talked about. How much... Yep. Sex, S E X, sex, sex, S E X should be expected. Yep. What do you guys mm-hmm. think? One time, two time, three time, four, five mm-hmm. times, six times, seven times. I lost count. Uh, once, <laughs> once a day, once a week, once a month, twice a day, twice a week, twice a month. Like work Three times two a, a day, three times a week, three times a month. <laughs> two four a times a day, four times a week, four times, four times a day. Lord. Um, four times a day, four times a week, four times a month. Five Bro, you times. know how sore you probably be after four times a day? That's, yeah. That's a lot. So, yeah, so how much sex should be expected, you know? Go ahead, baby, answer the question. Um, I would <laughs> say as much as it takes for you guys to be satisfied and be happy with it, with, with each other, you know? I agree, with that's a if good answer. Whatever, right? Yeah, whatever frequency you got makes you both, you know, happy and satisfied. Uh, definitely is the best amount. Is the best is the best amount. You know, I'm not gonna hear come here and say, uh, you know, you need to have sex once a day. Um, when if you that's not you, if that's, that's not, not realistic, you. you know, just realistically, if it's not even logistically possible, um, then you know that's not what it is. So I would say definitely what whatever is whatever amount is uh, reasonable is realistic and uh, satisfies both parties i yeah. agree honey all right i agree what do you guys think what do you guys think you, well you know they're gonna i haven't real, i haven't heard I haven't they're heard gonna get from, real from, quiet from, i haven't heard from y'all in a minute you know you know we, let's talk about it let's talk about let's talk about say baby let's talk about you and me all right so we got a we got a a, a oh, comment here it says sex should not be expected we should do it every time we want okay I, I like that. That's a good answer, but that's not always realistic because once you have kids, that changes mm-hmm. the mix of the well, frequencies. Well, true. So, because, you know, when you want schedules. it, may not be when you get it. 
you may know? not be able to get it when you want so, it. So, yes, that sounds great, but it may not always be realistic for okay. your situation. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, what was that? No number eight number or nine? Number 10. Numero 10. Diez. Diez. 10. The last thing. Okay. The 10. The 10th. Tenth... <laughs> <laughs> you cannot talk the, today. <laughs> look, English is my third, technically third language. Um, but... Okay, so the tenth ten <laughs> how was that? Anyways, the, the tenth thing that you should be discussing in your relationship to go from good to great. Um I'm like deviating all You're like all, I've never all seen you do like that. Off the uh the topic. <laughs> But it, it was it was it's a long topic for once, you know, because it was the top, top ten, ten. It's a top lot of ten things. Oh well, no, top 10 topics you should discuss yeah. with your, you should discuss in your relationship. Every good relationship <laughs> should discuss to become great. So it was a long topic. It was long. Um, but yeah, so uh, the, the last topic is, can you have, um, hmm. <laughs> okay, we're going to save that for uh, a different day. A bonus. Yeah, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll do a bonus. We'll do the bonus after the outro. Okay. So, no, we'll, we'll do it right. We'll do it right after that. Okay. Okay, so how much how much of your relationship or marital business, okay, how much of your relationship's business and affairs should you share with friends and family? Mm. That needs to be discussed. That's an important That's one. That's an important one. Right. Again, mm-hmm. setting up those expectations, setting up it those boundaries. Just, yeah. How much should be discussed? What do you say, baby? Um, me personally, family is a no no. Just off top, just no because For everything? Um I think if it's something serious between us, especially if it was like an argument or something like that, mm-hmm. that's completely a no because of the whole fact at the end of the day, my family's still my family, your family's still your family. But and, I we're just one family. Yeah, that sounds great. And storytelling but realistically like if it comes down to us having an argument Mm -hmm. and i go then speak to my family like hey who do you think was right most likely they will side with me because i'm their family true versus same thing with you Mm -hmm. if you go to your family and tell them about our argument most likely they will side with you because Mm -hmm. you are their family true true so because of that probability of happening is best not to because it's going to be a lot harder to change your family member's opinion of your spouse after you discuss an argument. Mm, that's good, baby. That's good. Good. Okay, I see you, girl. I see you. So, on mm. that instance, I would say no. Okay. And friends is a little bit different because it goes back to, are they truly your friend? Right. And one, you know, the maturity of your friendships and different things because mm-hmm. we have a few close friends that we pretty much talk about everything, everything under the sun right. with and it's a safe place to do that because we've built that relationship with our friends to have that kind of environment mm-hmm. to discuss those things that we could not discuss with family members. Right. And our friends generally, because they're both of our friends, they're usually not biased and will give a more honest answer because mm-hmm. they're not swayed by their, my family or your family right. situation. Right. Man, I don't think there's anything more I could say. <laughs> she nailed it. She nailed it. She nailed it. Whatever. She nailed it. So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, you wanted that's to give them the bonus, you said, The bonus? Right? Okay, so I'll do the bonus. The bonus yeah. is this. The bonus topic that you should discuss. Well, I'll, answer, I'll do the question because I okay. asked the you question, ask I question. Okay, I'll do Okay. So, the bonus question mm-hmm. is, can you have a work wife or work husband and is that okay? No, <laughs> 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 Um... Can you have a work wife, wife or work, or work husband, husband and, and is it okay? Thing. No, man. You Why can't have... elaborate? <laughs> elaborate because you just you no. Just, I no. mean, I mean, you that that whole work work. Well, first of all, that's that's a real thing. Let's talk about that. That is real. That is a real thing. You have work you have people who husbands. who have people at their jobs and that become very close to them. And I think that I think. What that really stands from is, you know, if they're not getting the attention that they're 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 uh, they're due uh, from you know from home. So if the wife is not getting enough attention from 
from her real husband at home, but yet, you know, Julio Suave at, at, Wait, at the what? job. Wait, what? Julio Suave at the job. <laughs> okay? Julio Suarez. Rico okay? Suave. Julio Suarez. I'm not talking about Rico. Okay, everybody's talking about Rico. I'm talking about Julio. <laughs> Julio Suarez at the job Suarez. is is being sweet to uh to the to the oh to the, God, the wife. I can't, I can't. Then she's gonna then you know, things things gonna happen, you know. She's gonna start getting close to him. She's gonna you know, and, and women when women want attention, they'll get it from anywhere. When women want attention, they they'll they'll look They'll they'll get it from anywhere, you know. But I'm let, just saying. let me throw this mm-hmm. nugget in and get your opinion on it. Right. Sometimes there are people in your job that their goal is to become that so that they can see what they can break. Okay. True. 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 But I'm saying I'm saying is it starts it starts I think it starts at home because if you're getting if you're getting the proper attention you're getting the proper care you're getting the proper um, loving, like, like you're supposed to, um, sure, you know, when Julio Suarez comes, like, stop saying that, so <laughs> uh, or I Rico can't. Suave, whatever, Julio Suarez come, oh my god, um, hey, if your name is Julio Suarez, I'm talking to you, I'm just saying, <laughs> uh, because <laughs> you can make people think there's somebody really, Julio Suarez. Suarez, look, Julio Suarez, <laughs> leave that lady alone, okay, leave that lady alone, but honestly, it, it's it's a real thing that that happens all the time. It does. I hear it happen all the time that you know people have other you know p- you know other people from the opposite sex at their jobs that they become close with, and that be- that becomes a real relationship because I mean at work you're spending what six, eight, you ten, spend twelve, more time at work you know, twelve at hours. You, you know, in most cases you do at least you know awaken you know whatever. So you spend a lot of time at work with that person and you're probably sharing all sorts of things and you know and them no they're just gonna they're just gonna take that opportunity to slide in the dm yeah slide in the dm and yeah (laughs) but in real life (laughs) you know what i'm saying so um should you have a work wife or work husband heck no 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 no. that's not that's not healthy unless unless you unless you work together <laughs> or unless unless you wanna you unless you just wanna be done with whatever you had before. But if you wanna you know be saying? done, then be done, and yeah. then do what you gotta do on your own. Right, right. right. Don't involve a uh, an unwilling participant. You get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? No, Julio's willing. Julio. No, but I'm not talking about okay. Julio. I'm talking about okay. Me and you are together, mm-hmm. and then Rico Suave is trying to holler at me, mm-hmm. and I'm like, well, I don't want to be with you no more, so let me go to Rico. So you're the unwilling participant because you don't even know that this is happening at work. Mm. So I like unknowing participant. Yeah, I guess that's a better (laughs) term, an unknowing participant. Mm. You know. Yeah. But either way, no, Mm. unless you guys work at the same husband and wife work at the same company, (laughs) then y'all can be wives and and work husbands. husbands. Mm. Yes. Anyways, folks, that's what we have for y'all tonight. These are important topics that you should discuss with your. Your your spouses, your significant others, yes. you know where you know what whatever level you're you're at in a relationship, those are things that you should discuss That's, and talk about yes. to really set those those expectations and boundaries. Um, and boundaries so later they they don't become a problem. You don't uh, have to deal with those things as you go. You deal with them before, um, so you know you can have a, a really smooth uh, relationship, a really smooth, um, uh, a really smooth. Uh, um, you know, life together, life together. Yeah. yeah. You know, so talk about, talk about the different things. Talk about the friends, how much time you should spend with them. Talk about, you know, uh, actual, actual, actual significant other. Hey, what's my curfew? Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> what's my curfew? What, what time do I need to get back? You know, um, how long should I go on vacation with the guy? Exactly. The you know, what, what's the, what's the vacation? Like, is it like a two days PTA? Yeah, do I get two, two PTA? PTOs? You know, two PTO. PTO. Oh, P- I said PTA. PTA. Oh, Jesus. You've been a parent too I'm long. Like, yeah, I've been a parent for too long. <laughs> yeah, PTOs. Like, you know, what, what, how long, how long is, is it is, incremental? Is it, appropriate? is it only two? <laughs> is it consecutive? <laughs> you know, talk, you, you got to talk about those different things. Yeah. That way when they, when they do come, because they'll come. You can you know, handle it. You can handle it more, you know, you know, more appropriately. All right. So, uh, do us a favor. Go ahead and like this 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 video if you haven't. Um, <laughs> share the video if you haven't. 
comment, give us some feedback, yeah. and let us know uh, how we can help. You know, question if you have any questions, um, shoot us a, a, a message in the box because yeah. we've been on here long enough. So we're not going to really do a Q&A right now. But definitely shoot us any questions that you have in our inbox. And be back next Wednesday, Wednesday. 10 p.m. right here live on Facebook with Joe and Lisa, Relationship Goals, presented to you by The Realist the TV. TV. Uh, be sure to go on our... Giggity, giggity. <laughs> <laughs> be sure to go on our YouTube and, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, that's Just search for The Realist TV. Uh, you'll find it. Subscribe, and this episode will be uploaded right after this. Uh, right after this on there, and you can rewatch if you'd like. With you your just, spouse, and then you guys can just pause and discuss. Exactly, pause you guys pause discuss. and discuss and, and, and talk about these things because they're important, man. They're important. You know, if you're gonna reach your relationship goals, and you have to talk about the real you things, think. the real stuff that affects relationships. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a blessed night. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye bye. I'm going to do that.